Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video is actually not going to be with my T83+, Plus. rather it's going to be with the T85. At the request of Wolf, he uh, wanted me to make some games on the T85, and I'm happy to do that. So we're just going to start out with a basic guessing game, which is basically the same thing that I did on the T83+, Plus, only I changed a little bit of stuff around, and um, you can change uh, what number you would like, and I figured out how to do random number generating and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, show you how you can make that for yourself. So, first I'm going to play the game, and how you do that is you pick up your calculator, and you can, oops, I'm sorry about that, you click the program button, and then you use the M1, or F2, F2, F3, and F4, and F5, and if you click the second function, it will go M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5. So, as you can see, it has names and edit. So, I'm going to click the names. So, that would be F1. And then it gives me the options that I have. I'm working on Pong. Um, I originally thought I couldn't do it. I don't think I can do it. But I will keep trying uh, to do it on the T85. Because I had, like, a working version, but it ran very slow. Um, so, we'll have to see if I can figure out how to do that. But for now, I'm just going to do the guest program. I'm going to click enter. And it says 1 to 1,000. And then what do you think G is? So G is like your guess. So for example, I'm going to put 500 because that's right in the middle. And it says it's lower than 500. And this gives you an infinite amount of guesses. So I'm going to say like 250. And it's still lower. So 100. It's higher than 100. I'm going to say 1... 50, uh, it's higher than 150, 200, it's higher, 225, it's higher, 240, I'd say, try that, it's higher, 250, lower, okay, so somewhere in between 240 and 250, so then I do 245, higher, 247, higher, 249, and that was the number. As you can see, it said yay, and done. So, that is the whole entire program. It just, it's just a simple little program that you can have a little bit of fun with for a little while. Um, so, I just figured that I would do this um, so you could have a program. So, I'm going to click M2 now, or sorry, F2, which is the edit function. And then you can type it in or you can click where your program is. So I'm going to click that one because it is guess. Click enter and go right here. So I'm going to kind of do this in a step-by-step -step format. Um, so I'm going to help you with that. So what you have to do, as you can see, it's ran times a thousand stored A. And then I part of A stored A. So what that's doing is it's taking a RAND, which is basically a very small or it's a decimal and I'm taking it times a thousand, and I'm taking whatever the integer part is, so getting rid of any of the decimal stuff, so you don't have to type in all the decimal stuff, because that would take a long time to figure out. So, I did that, and then I have display quote one hyphen a thousand, and then while A is not equal to G, prompt G, and if G is less than A. I'm just going to go through it first, and then I'll explain how you type it in. Okay, so then you do display quote higher quote. If G is greater than A, display quote lower quote. End quote display quote yay exclamation point quote. And that is the whole entire program. It's a very short program. So I'm going to uh, go over here so I don't mess any of this stuff up. So remember, you can go back to uh, that part of the video if you want to uh, repeat that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the um, buttons here. And I'm going to use these buttons to type stuff in. So for example, all your I and O stuff is in the third function. All your control stuff is in the fourth function. If you want a uh, line below, you click this button, page up and page down. So as you can see, it pages down and pages up. So I click those two buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna click the IO button. And now it gives me input prompt, display, display G, output. So if I click the more button, it will go to the rest of it. That's where you find the quote, by the way, and also clear home or clear LCD. 
And if you'd like to get to the control tab now, you click second and then F4, so it becomes M4. And this is like the F row and the top row here is the F or M row. And you click that and then it gives you if, then, else, for, end, and more, while, repeat, menu, label, go to, IS and DS, pause, return, and stop. And that is it. And then if you cannot find anything, um, you click second and custom. So second custom, which would take you to the catalog. And it gives you a list of all the commands in the calculator. In a new, or sorry, not numerical, in alphabetical order. And so if I was to click alpha L, because I wanted to go to the L's, um, as you can see, it takes me to the L's. Um, so if you accidentally clicked L and you want to go to something else, click alpha and then whatever you wanted to go to. Let's say I wanted to go to Q's. I don't know. There's no Q's, so it just took me to R because it's right next to it. Um, so like G's, it takes you to anywhere you need to go. So for example, I have the RAND command, so alpha and R. And RAND is right here. And so then what you do is you would click enter and it will put it on the screen. As you can see, it put it right there for me uh, because that's where I was. And then the I part command, you can also go second custom and that takes you to the catalog, remember? And you click alpha and I, and I believe that will take you to the I part, which is right there. So then you click enter and I'm just gonna click clear to exit that part. And then you have A, so you would click alpha and the log button, which will give you an A. And that's the same for any of these letters. And then you get a display. So the display would be in the IO because that's input and output. Um, so I would click second and M3 because this is the third function in the top row, which is the M row. So then I click F3, which is M3 because I clicked uh, second. And as you can see, it has input, prompt, and display is the third function. So I would click F3 to get display. And the quotes actually are in the IO tab. You have to click the more button and it is right over here. So you click F5 and that would give you the quotes. And as you can see, I just keep going and it's mostly the same stuff. So I don't have a lot more to explain. One thing, if you're wondering where to get like the equal sign and stuff like that, you click second custom, which takes you to the catalog, remember? And you go up and you just keep scrolling up until you find a bunch of symbols like this, like the not equal to and all that stuff. And you keep going and it will give you like a double equal to and an equal to as well. So that is all you need to play this program. And in the future, I will make more videos on the TI-85 and more games. Um, uh, eventually, I hope to get some really cool games on there. Uh, maybe some logic puzzles and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to that. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed and you like the video, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, thank you to everyone who is subscribed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.